Welcome! In this video, we will give you a quick introduction to the latest features in LeapFrog Works 2.3. LeapFrog Works 2.3 builds upon the integration and functionality improvements we've seen in the past few releases. Continued enhancements in software interoperability, analysis tools, and overall usability is the focus of LeapFrog Works 2.3. The features and functionalities mentioned in this video are covered in more detail in the LeapFrog Works online training content and in the help. Let's take a look at these new features in LeapFrog Works 2.3. The first time you launch LeapFrog Works 2.3, you will be presented with this new Discover window once you've signed in. Click Watch Now to access a comprehensive library of bite-sized online learning videos that cover everything you need to become proficient at LeapFrog subsurface modeling. If you wish to access these videos later, they will always be accessible from the user identity menu. In addition to the video library, a demo project is available in LeapFrog Works to help get new users up and running quickly. Updates have been made to the demo project to represent this version's new features. If your network administrator has not installed the project to your My Documents folder, you can access the demo project here. As we recognize the importance of seamless software interoperability, we continue to develop new integration functionality. LeapFrog Works now offers Autodesk Civil 3D design file support in DWG, allowing for direct imports of alignments, catchments, corridors, pipe networks, surfaces, structures, and more. Drawing files containing these objects can now be imported directly or easily exploded by your CAD technician and brought into LeapFrog Works in the Designs folder for visualization and interaction with your geological models in 3D space. In addition to interoperability enhancements with data inputs, we're also improving output interoperability with the new cross-section export option. Now, when you export a cross-section evaluation from your LeapFrog Works project, you have the option to flatten to 2D and specify an origin point. This translates the cross-section from the 3D real-world spatial location in LeapFrog Works to a 2D drawing space frequently required by geotechnical analysis software, making it easy to pull sections directly from your 3D geological models into 2D space to solve for slope stability, settlement, and other physics problems. It is then easy to display the analysis results back in the context of the 3D model. It is also now possible to specify the X start value on cross sections, allowing you to effectively display chainage on long section layouts. We are committed to enhancing your user experience with every new release. Usability improvements in LeapFrog Works 2.3 include the addition of polar stereo nets, which are often used in geotechnical work to identify structural trends, the ability to rename designs, polyline editing improvements, it is now possible to hide polyline tangents while editing, as well as change the default size for polylines, displaying whole ID at the bottom of whole traces in the scene, Statistics are now available for all types of points, including contact points, intrusion points, and guide points. More intuitive safe scene export. Hyperlinks in error dialogues to help you determine the cause of the error more quickly. And support for high resolution 4K monitors. Improvements have also been made to the view upload process. When uploading to view, it is now easy to see the status of your uploads and receive notifications when they are complete in a new notifications area next to the user identity menu. This makes it simple to queue and manage multiple uploads at the same time, so sharing your 3D views has never been easier. For more information, check out the following resources or contact your local sequent office. 